Well, hello and welcome to Playframe and to Side Quest and to Shadow of the Erd Tree and what might be the finale. At very, very long last. <laughs> I don't think any of us expected this DLC to be quite as large as it is. I have loved every minute of it, but I remember back before this dropped thinking, I'm sure it'll probably add, like, maybe another 20, 30 hours to the game. And here we are, more like 50 hours later, possibly 60. It's been very large and all very good, and I've had a grand time. And I hope to continue having a grand time, even though the size of this boss door makes me think... It may be a grand time that we have to have several times in succession. We're definitely bringing in help. Especially after they helped us so much last time. Come on. You two, let's go. The boss is going to be very tanky thanks to you too, but after all this effort, it feels wrong not bringing you in. Well, here goes. My loyal blade and champion of the festival. Both your deeds will ever be praised in song. Now, the vow will be honored, and my lord brother's soul will return, so that he may be my consort. Not the brother I was expecting. But also, yikes. Promised consort Radon. Yeah! Hello there. Smaller than last we fought. But also probably much more in your prime than fighting you as a zombie. Riding a tiny horse. All right. Well. Yikes. This is going to be a lot. A little early. Boy, every hit takes a lot. And your reach is very impressive. Whew. You got a lot of HP on you. Ooh. Using some burning blood moves as well, I see. Let's try out how the big spin works. Uh-oh. Whoo, boy. Yeah, we're going through healing items so fast. Hey, I know that move. My buddies are not lasting very long. Trying though. Spin! 
I mean, it's a lot of HP taken. And yet still a very small dent. Oh, okay. Now we are in trouble. We were in trouble before, but more trouble even than that. Yeah, that was fast. Oh boy. Kind of neat, though, that, like, giant health bar on that Radon there, but if there's multiple phases to the fight, it seems like they are split across just the gigantic health bar. It's effectively the same as having a three health bar, three phase boss fight, but you're just seeing all the health bar at once. Can't really decide which, like, is that a better way or functionally the same or, I'm not sure, but Slightly different than they've done frequently in the past. It's interesting. I don't know if this weapon is the key to victory. Don't know what weapon's the key to victory, but I don't know if it's this one. We may come back to it, though. It was kind of, it was kind of fun. Um... I mean, we could try. We can try. Radon's not the brother I was expecting. Although the fact that he is doing some burning blood moves in there, it does feel like, like we heard about Moog's body disappearing, which makes me think that Moog is also... Like Moog's corpse is somehow also used in this in a way? Uh, when we heard the line about reviving the brother, I thought that that meant that Mikola had figured out a way to revive Godwin, which we have, like, there's lore precedence for Mikola caring deeply about Godwin and wanting to find a way to save him. Radon is a curveball. Well, I don't know how much help these two are providing, but... For the time being. Uh, they, they are... They are expanding an already very large health bar. But there are also distractions, and there's... some value in that. This one's gonna take some tries, though, I can already tell. Which is fitting. I also wonder if this is going to be... Similar to that Dark Souls 3 fight, fighting the princes that, uh, I forget what the, their names are, but where the one 
brother is clinging to the other and in depleting the health bar of one, like stunning it, that's the only chance you get to hit the other brother. Like, I wonder if we're going to have to be able to take out Radon, do as much damage to Mikola as we can, and kind of repeat. That'd be rough. Let's find out. We are definitely going to need some Spirit Ash help in here, though. I can feel that one already. Okay, so Moog is, Moog's remains are involved in this. That tracks. That does seem to work, but boy, it does leave me a little vulnerable. Yeah. His attack patterns are readable, though. Kaboom. It's not a terrible start. Though we have gone through a lot more healing items than I prefer. Yowch. Didn't get the shield up in time. That's fine. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Wall, for blocking most of those. Ouch. Do not get greedy against this one. Each hit punishes way too hard. There we go. But now we have to figure out this. Yeah, this spell is following me. I don't know if... I might be able to time the roll just right. Come on, man. Whoo, yeah. Both together is rough. Yeah, we're going to need some god slaying help for sure. And we can tinker around with some other weapons as well. Just to see. Also, I haven't tried magic, which is risky, but if he's distracted, there's potential. After this, we'll try an attempt without these two and see... See how feasible that is. See what difference it makes to the HP bar. All right, take a three. All right. General Radon, a pleasure to see you. This time. But those remains do not belong to me. Eh. Lord Moe will have his dignity. Not a strong start. Damage is okay. Let's do a quick test of our various spell options. Yeah. Yeah. Not the best. Yeah. Try something like this. And rotting is also... An option we can explore, though I don't have the most optimism. Yeah, that didn't stick. Okay, all right, good to know. Ah. Okay, failed experiments.
This will take a lot of tries, I can tell already. Which is fine. Yeah, let's try without these two, but then bring in Tish, who has so much god-killing practice. Feels like that could work. Now. Big moves. It's not bad. And yeah, the health bar is not nearly as devastating. Impossibly large. Yeah, these attacks seem downright manageable compared <laughs> to the two of them together. If we can survive long enough to see the moveset we're gonna have to deal with here. Oh boy. Oh, we've been grabbed. I will miss you. A thousand year voyage guided by compassion. Whoa. So that's just hurting now. And now. Ooh! Look at that move! Tisha's gone now, though. That's bad. Yep. Hair later, and that'd be safe. Whoa! The move set. So interesting. Yeah. Amazed to be alive, to be honest. Wowzers. Yeah, boy, especially with the spells in there. Finding openings is challenging. Lord of the old order, let us go together. This is stacking, I bet. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, look at that. Heart stolen. Whoa. <laughs> that kind of rules. Okay, don't get grabbed. Noted. Let us go together. Ah. Cool. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. So guard counters I don't like as a as an option for this one. That's just not going to work out. Sort of Darkness could be interesting, but not a lot of openings for hits. Could be interesting. To try. So what, what, what kind of damage are we getting hit with, by the way? It's... Magic... with the gravity, which is also, I guess, sometimes physical. A lot of physical, for sure. And then holy, also. At least in the second phase. I'm still pretty happy with this loadout, though. Yeah, yeah, well, let's, uh... Try it again, just me and Tish with this sword, and see... what that attempt looks like. I am curious. Aha, I dodged it, finally. He seems to be less ultra-strong as well now without my two buddies. Maybe that's my imagination. Kind of feels that way, though. Oops. Not the flask I meant to use, but just as well I needed them both. Doing pretty good. It's doing alright anyway. We'll see how long that lasts. Ah. Just a hair later and I think I'll survive it. It's 
So yeah, if I can like block the sword attacks and then roll out of the way of the uh, spells. That seems to be the method. Oof, got very interrupted there. Whew. Ouch, he's... Okay, blocking until the end seems to be the trick for that one. Yeah, oof. Just until the end. The last one's where they got me. Whoo! Lucky he missed. Yeah. That's a lot, man. And Tish is gone. Nope. Do not get grabbed, I remember. Yeah, that's not worth trying. Leaves me too vulnerable. Getting further, though. Getting further and further. Now, Tisha's getting a bit roasted, though. I wonder if there's other... other summons who might fare a little better with, like, evasion. Yosha's such a small target, it might be agile enough to actually dodge some nonsense. Maybe. It'd be interesting. Could be. We can't go with Bear because, like, nothing's going to stagger Radon. So that, like, bullying is not an option. Without the enormous health pool. I wonder. Just a test. Come on, Yosh. Let's see what happens. All right. More success at dodging things, anyway. Oof. A little slow on the block there. That's fine. Yeah, if you start getting caught by hits, though. Roasted. Oof, boy, that just keeps hurting. Ouch. That one I'm gonna need to figure out what to do about. Ouch. Fight the good fight, Yosh. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I don't know if you can roll through that one. It might just be a get far enough away situation. Whew, boy. Ah, that was the grab. I promise you a thousand year voyage guided by compassion. It's so cool, though. Shouldn't let that happen again. Uh, and that's missed entirely. Yeah, he's he's not gonna hold still enough for that to work. Whew. Yeah. It's getting roasted here. Okay, gonna have to Yep, we're doomed. The old order. Let us go together. It adds even more difficulty to a hard fight, but it is very cool as a gimmick. Not feeling the euphoria, though. Just kind of examining the full collection. I don't think the claw is going to work for me on this one. Uh, like, the bleed buildup, good, but uh, still...
Hmm. That seems very risky as well. Good. I am a little worried that holy damage is going to be a little less effective in phase two. Hmm. No. Interesting, but... Still probably no. I feel like there's still better options. Weapons that take advantage of our double scaling type really seem like... something to lean into. This sword just does such great work. Let's give this one another spin. Nyosh did all right, but didn't last much longer in that second phase. Could try getting someone tankier in, like maybe Ornis. Or heck, Yolan. I've not leveled you up at all. That would not last very long at all. Do I have enough FP to even summon you? Oh, I do. I do. Okay. Now, let's see what that results in. We experimenting. Tall versus tall, let's go! Oof. It is hard finding the windows to dodge in there. Yipes. Took way more hits there than I should have. Yeah. Yeah, I still don't know what to do against that one. Yeah. Having a much worse start this time. Yeah, Ornus, are you not helping at all? I notice you're not helping at all. Are you bugged? Or just incredibly disloyal? Hornus! What gives? Let's try that one more time. I'm curious if that's actual... That seems like that's gotta be a bug. It's gotta be a bug, right? That not working? Something just went wrong there. Get in there, fight this time. Okay, you're helping now. That's better. This is what we like to see. Actual allies. Big hits. Big stomps. Big fire. Out of mana. Disappointingly little fire. Horn is getting obliterated. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. Eh. Still... Whoa. That's different. Not the follow-up I expected. Alright, next phase at least. Alright, successful dodge. Ouch. Whew. Ease up a little bit there. Hey! First time that's happened. Oops. Thought we were gonna get it. We did not. Kind of block it, sort of. Not very well, though. Big fire. It's 
So much stuff. That one's new. Oh no. Incoming Radon from where? Wah! That one's scary. We got pretty far that time though. I feel like the strategy is kind of working. Ornus did all right. What if we bring in like one of these clowns plus Ornus plus fighting with the sword, which is doing fairly well. Here, here, we'll try this one, which has, I think, yeah, like this one has higher per single hit damage for just single attacks. And if we don't use the special move as much, we could replace this with something else. Not sure what would be best, to be honest, but... Heck, could go with the one that boosts my strength if my summon is taken out. Whichever one it was. That'd be interesting. Yeah, the dried bouquet. I do kind of like that. I kind of like that. I don't know which of you two is being more help in this fight, to be honest. But Ornis, so long as Ornis is fighting, not too bad. Big if there, but... Let's draw your aggro off to the side a bit, huh? Yeah, goodness. I do not know how to get out of the way of that one. But those remains do not belong to me. Lord Moe will have you. Yeah, this is not going to have the range. It's not going to hit anybody. Whew. You come here. I'm really not sure having Ansbach in here is worth it for the extra distraction. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, having to last even longer in this phase. Worrying. There we go. What if I just run real far away? Okay. Run very far away is a valid strategy. This is really leaving me vulnerable using this move. Wow. So scary. And there goes Ornis, which makes me stronger. For all that good that does. Ah, I tried to roll away. Didn't make it. I'm not sure if having Ansbach here is worth it. I think not. Probably not, and I should probably stop going for the special move on this. Leaving me too open and trading hits is just such a bad idea. 
Now let's try a version of the fight without ends blocking it, without me going for that unique move. Like once at most, and then just regular like jump attacks and such. Okay. Yeah. Hard threading the needle on those. Goodness, you leave so few vulnerabilities. I guess as long as you're focusing on me, you're not destroying my tag team partner. Okay, run away. Not quite far enough. Probably doesn't work if you're standing right under him. Whew. There's a lot of very hard moves to dodge. Let's do one of these. Stay with me, Ornis. Or not. That's fine, too. Ow. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with that one. Because it just keeps hitting as the thing. Like, it's not even just a one-time thing I could roll through. It's just successive ba 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 boom Ground slam damage. Slamage. Heh. <laughs> Whatever. Uh... So many toys, it is hard figuring which one is doing the most good for me. You know what? We should give the bear claws a try. Like, not dual wielding, that's too reckless, but like building a bleed damage has potential. You know, you know what? No, actually, no. If we're building a bleed damage, let's go with old tried and true. This sword got us through so much of this game. Is there another summon worth experimenting with, I wonder? Like, Mimic Tear, obviously, a possibility. But... Latana will not do well, I don't think. Horned Warrior could be interesting as well. Let's see how Mimic Tear does. And maybe... Sure. You have to heal quick, though. Have some bleed! I just block through it. It hurts bad, but... You kind of withstand. A real slow building up bleed. With this sword, though. Yeah. Come on, man. You know what? What if? What if you rotted? Rot historically has worked pretty good on you specifically. Now, I don't think you were rotted.
Rolling away seems to mostly work for escaping that nonsense anyway. Oh boy. Mimic tier is not doing super great. Could be that there was a better weapon to equip for trying an attempt with a Mimic tier though. Eh, yeah, boy. Phew. Yeah, what do you even do against that one? That one I'm quite confused by. What would be a better weapon? With Mimic Tear. I think that one historically has done pretty good for us. And if we are, like, if Mimic Tear is also going in with this, then that's better than powering me up when it's gone. Yeah. And I w if I can manage to get Rot going in Phase 2, maybe I can't. But if I could, that would help a lot, I feel like. Have some fire. And more fire. Look out, me. Continue looking out, me. Hey! Goodness. Chill. That was greedy. Not sure why I thought that would work. There we go, next phase. And then, if I could manage. And I don't think I can, realistically. But if I could. I think that was out of range and other me is in trouble at the moment, but... Very rotted? Maybe? A little early. I don't think rot is setting in at all. Maybe it went underneath you, but... I am curious now if I just keep attempting that. Nope. Sorry. Rock go bleh. Yeah, I'm starting to suspect you are unrottable. Bummer. So be it. The old ways. I thought I could get away. Whew, it is a hard fight. And I don't know if Mimic Tear is doing significantly better than some of these others, to be honest. Hmm. I feel like Teach was getting wrecked unusually fast. Which is quite unusual. I wonder how <laughs> these goofs would fare. Probably not super great. And I do like my companions being able to get some damage going. Rot Breath, not doing it for me. And I don't think any of the other spells are worth... From the look of things, wasting a lot of time on. Now let's just try another me and Tish. Attempt. See what happens. Focus a little more on the fight itself rather than trying out different toys and techniques. Imagine focusing on the fight, though. Could yield results.
badly timed dodge, goodness. It does almost seem like Radon's attack patterns are specifically designed to not allow Tish to schmove <laughs> underneath him, like she usually does. Ah, not good. Quite bad for me. Goodness gracious. Ah, oh, come on. It is a very hard fight, wow. And Tish. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Tish is good for this fight. I think Tish... Tish benefits too much from evasion, and that's just not viable. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna do a little bit of, like, gear fiddling stuff, and maybe upgrading some of my weapons up to plus 10 fully. Just to increase my available options, and... Yeah, I'm gonna explore gear options for a bit. Excuse me. Okay, okay, I've done a little bit. As you can see, different shield. Even more blocking, like, I figure let's try the Great Shield thing, but even more so. Might as well go with the shieldiest of them all. Uh, also, I remembered I also have this other weapon that is apparently pretty good, just generally. Uh, Siluria's Tree. Kind of a Great Spear type with a pretty good, unique Ash of War skill. Good range on it. Uh, bit of a charge time, which is scary, but still could make us effective from a distance. And it also scales, and it's like another one of those that scales with faith and strength both, so definitely works for me. Also upgraded further, uh, the Great Hammer we'd already done. I went ahead and bumped up the Heavy Great Katana just because, why not, it's good. Uh, also, this is now at plus 10, and its strength scaling went from C to B, so I think it's actually going to be a fair bit more useful now. Uh, still not as strong per individual hit as Malaketh's Black Blade, but special skill resolves a little faster, so slightly less vulnerability, if nothing else. Also bumped up Heavy Milady, even though I don't think this is the fight for it. And bumped up Ornus as a summon up to plus 10 as well. Just to see what sort of difference that makes. Couldn't hurt, right? So yeah, I'm curious, with this shield and spear, and Ornus a little stronger, are there any results worth speaking of? Let's find out. Still not even using, like, rune arcs or anything either, that's another option we can play with down the line. Gotta figure out what to do with this move. Whoa, the range. I too have range though, so let's uh, see how the range does. It's pretty good as a hit. Yeah, goodness. Pick a target, huh? Not with that. Big shield doing good though. Don't think we can hit him, but oh no, wait, maybe. Eh, uh, range probably too far. It's a good hit when it connects. I think just shielding through that's really our only our only choice. It's a good hit. We might we might stick with this uh with this here great spear. It's yielding some noteworthy results. Don't run right into it, Ornis. I love the passion for the job. Trust me, I do. Boom. Good hit. Big shield doing good for me. Very good for me. And Ornus still lives, which is also amazing and enjoyable for me. Ornus probably doesn't live much longer, though, at this rate. I rolled. Disagree. I you a thousand year voyage 
guided by compassion. We've gotten pretty far though with this kit. It's not even like the cleanest run we've had either. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. The holy editions. Rough. No, oh, we're getting hit by this one. Oh, boy. Should have tried blocking. We got pretty far, though. Really, we just need a little bit of luck to work for us. And let me check <laughs> this entire DLC. I've not really looked at my great runes or made use of rune arcs, but if not now, when? Let me remember what they even do. <laughs> it's been so long. So the one I have equipped is Morgoth's, which greatly raises max HP, which honestly might still be what we need. Uh, Blessing of Blood to Phantoms? No. Attack, recover HP after damage is taken? No. Not bad. Probably not as great as the HP, though. Yeah, yeah, I think Morgoth's is still the one. Still the one. That's gonna help. Yeah. We have a plan. Of sorts. Rolled in time. Gorgeous. Even just the taps. with this spear. Do pretty good. Distract him, Ornus. You're doing great. Ow. Distract him longer, Ornus. Or do damage. One of the two. Your pick. It's pretty good, though. Pretty happy with what this is doing for me to start. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm liking how this is going to start. I don't think we're getting away, though. Not quite. Great rune helps, though. Big hit. Big shield doing good for me. Big a hit. Here you go. Oh, here we go. Top off and figure out where it's coming from if you can. Shielding does not work. We were having a good run too. I guess you got to see where it's coming from and I don't think rolling to the edge of the arena is going to work. I figure it's going to target you, right? So you, maybe you just have to, like, roll dodge at the right time to avoid some of the damage. But even at full health and blocking with the biggest shield, blocking does nothing on that one, so, okay. You have to figure that one out. Avoided it. Good, good. That's not the attack. Go for them big hits. I wonder if there's a noticeable difference in the amount of holy damage Radon takes in phase one versus two. I could see it being a lot less in two. Makes a kind of sense, right? Take another hit. You missed. Yeah, this is no avoiding that one that I can figure. Okay. Not as elegant a fight to this point, but... Block. Yeah, that's... 
That's the way to do it if we're not getting out of range. Get some distance and then block. No, not that attack. Come on. Before Ornus dies on us. Which will happen so soon at this rate. Yeah. Ow. And a follow-up. Goodness, it's so much. It's so much. Ornus, I can't believe you survived all that. Nope, right. Not having FP is going to impact how much good that attack does. Or if the attack does at all. Oof, boy. Yeah, we really can't go for that attack when we're by ourselves. I promise. Too vulnerable. A thousand year voyage guided by compassion. We're getting closer and closer, though. I feel increasingly confident in our ability to do it. Block. Just in time. Love it. Really shouldn't be going for these at point-blank range. It's just so stupid. Yeah, I feel like you're taking less damage even from my regular hits. I think holy damage might drop like, uh, might like plummet in this phase. That might be something in favor of the fire sword. I wonder, I probably can't equip both equip load wise. Nah, not with this shield. There's probably enough time at the start of the fight to switch super quick. But, or at the start of the second phase to switch super quick, but kind of seems pointless. I feel like of all our summons, Ornus is still doing best. Let's, with this sword, let's give, all right, just for, just for goofs. Just because we're trying most things now. It would be just amusing to see. How well do these little chumps do? They're surprisingly effective in a lot of circumstances. I'm not expecting much, but... Who knows? Go get them, team. They're not going to be... <laughs> I see. Unfortunate. They didn't do very well. Turns out. I guess this attempt is sort of a bust. It's more chance to try to figure out dodging some moves without too much distraction, I guess. Sturdy, this one. I'm sure someone has figured out how to no damage through this fight. I cannot fathom it with some of these attacks. This is good practice, though. Yeah, like, like, what do you do?
Yeah, rolling into that doesn't seem to help that much. That still does great numbers. And can be done from a little bit of range, which has quite the advantage. Whew. Yeah, well. This attempt was quite doomed. Maybe not the great shield, dudes. Well, we have tried most of our different toys at this point, I feel like. And there may be some more experimentation that happens as we go, but... I feel like it's kind of coming down to the point where it's really just... Go with the picks that are working best. Go in with the weapons that are working best and kind of just keep on trying until you get a particularly good run. This might be a good one to go with. I feel like the damage type is, yeah, it's like magic type damage, which does kind of work like that. I could still see getting through. Hmm. We're very heavy now. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. But anyway, it seems like a good time to try some things out. And we've not, since millennia, had a determination montage. But it kind of seems like we're near the end here. So if there ever was going to be a time to have another one in Elden Ring, I think we have probably reached that point. Rich IDB has seen us through before, and eventually, I have faith, his tunes will do so again. Let's do this! Goodness gracious, not a pushover, <laughs> that one. Whew. Yeah, that really did just take getting lucky a time or two. <laughs> and incredibly unlucky a time or two more, goodness. Whew. Well. Thanks for the determination as always. Link to where you can get the track down in the description. I want to read this. Remembrance of Radon, consort of Mikola, hewn into the Shadow Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. In their childhood, Mikola saw in Radon a lord, his strength and his kindness, that stood in stark contrast with their afflicted selves. And so Mikola made his heartfelt wish that Radon would one day be his king consort. 
Really seems like a curveball. Of a thing. We've like we've definitely gotten some lore bits in the base game that suggested periods in time where Mikola had a fondness for other members of uh, other members of his extended family from uh, Radigan gave gifts to Radigan obviously had strong affection for their sister and also like was using Moog. I don't remember Radon connections anywhere, though. It's interesting. I'm definitely excited to dive into lore things once we're through. And hopefully that was the major boss challenge here, because, who boy. <laughs> it were a challenge. What do we got over here? Um, maybe this first. Boy, oh boy. We worked for that one. I don't know if that was as hard as Millennia or more. Probably more. If only just because there are more attacks with Radon, uh, with new Radon Plus here that I don't entirely understand how you're supposed to avoid it. With Millennia, there was really only one or two, and I feel like I kind of got close to figuring them out toward the end. But whew. There we go. Let me shuffle gear around a bit, too. I don't want this sword anymore. That's the weapon you keep tucked away until... things push you to the limit and it's time to go back to the old you. Boy, this arena, though. I don't suppose we can... like, go very far up here. It doesn't seem like... Just giant mountain of the dead, kind of forming a gate here, but to what? I wonder. Maybe this memory will clarify. Circlet of Light. Tell me of this. The circlet of light which adorned Mikola's head as he returned in divine aspect. It has begun to fade into nothingness. Slightly boosts intelligence, faith, and arcane while also boosting the power of Mikola's light. The circle was to be the very foundation upon which Mikola's age of compassion would be built, should it have ever come to pass. 
Fascinating. I definitely feel like I am missing some connective tissue narratively here. Which is not entirely unusual. You, like, it is rare to finish one of these games feeling like I fully understand all that I've been shown. And there's definitely connective bits I am confident that I have forgotten. But then... From is also not perfect, and there are certainly missteps that happen from time to time. The Horaloo effect, let's call it. What a fight, though. And also, hello. Yeah, even if I had brought y'all in, that would have been pretty much the immediate outcome. And also, I uh, would not have won. <laughs> Too much HP. Teolier's Hidden Needle. Ooh. And mask and garb and such. I'm intrigued. The dark trousers of those who wield poison in secret, ever scorned and loathed. The silver hair is arranged in the same style as St. Trina's, increasing arcane. Additionally, countless needles are sewn into the exterior, apparently for a talismanic effect. Is that how you withstood poison so well? A mask upon which is carved a tranquil sleeping face. The silver hair is arranged in the same style as St. Trina's, increasing arcane. Just once, Teolier was granted the sweet repose of velvety sleep. The remainder of his days would be spent attempting to recapture it. So early on, when we first ran into Teolier, uh, and I kind of, like, cagely said that I had a theory, it was my suspicion at first that Teolier was Mikola in disguise and would eventually, like, they'd eventually reveal themselves. Just someone who was styling themselves kind of after, uh, in, a, in a similar fashion, very slight build, uh, soft-spoken, and was also, like, dealing in poisons and sedatives a lot, which seemed very much the St. Trina sort of way. Doesn't seem to be the case. Seems to be just a fanboy instead. But, uh... That was my initial suspicion. A concealed weapon used by Teolier, of a design generally favored by poison wielders for dark and subtle purposes. Like St. Trina, who blossomed in the deep purple garden, a rich poison is secreted from within which sends its victims into an eternal sleep. And the skill is Sleep Evermore, pierces the enemy deeply with a poison-coated needle that delivers eternal sleep. If the follow-up strike lands upon a foe who is already in a state of slumber or eternal sleep, it will deal significant damage. Neat. Oh, it's a fist-type weapon. Cool. Very cool. So many cool weapons and toys in this expansion. And you, what of your stuff? The wise man's mask, Ansbach's attire, and such. Ansbach, I was also suspecting of being a, like, Moog agent here trying to track Mikola down. I was kind of, I, I may have mentioned that one already. Just that, uh, I just assumed that they were being duplicitous, and they weren't, they were manipulated, and ended up being pretty cool, but they do also serve the Lord of Blood, so like you can understand my suspicion Furious Blade of Ansbach Pure Blood Knight produces a blood flame blade from the side of the hand, then lunges at enemies to cleave through them, charge to increase the number of slashes Markedly different from the finessed sword play of the Dynast, this is an aggressive last resort of an incantation that gave rise to Ansbach's fearsome reputation. An obsidian lamina. Signature weapon of the pure blade knight Ansbach. A viciously keen and slender scythe made for combat. The obsidian edge relies not upon trickery to fulfill its violent purpose. Only well-honed skill is required to rip and rend through foes, sowing blossoms of red upon the battlefield. Dynastic Sickle Play, a finessed, evasive skill that creates space to maneuver. 
Inputs dictate direction at the back step. Follow up with strong attack to perform an advancing upward slash. Press strong attack again to bring the weapon back down. Goodness, that's complex. And very dexterity weapon, which does not surprise me. The Boots of Sir Ansbach. Black leather adorned with gold embroidery. Slightly enhances blood oath and dynastic skills. Ansbach understood that keeping his oath to his old master was not an act of logic, nor would it bear any justice, but it was for these very reasons he was unable to let go. The Iron Mask of Sir Ansbach, giving the appearance of a quiet, wise, old, bearded man. But an old fear lurks beneath, together with the cold, unflinching discipline that once honed his blade, now employed to enhance blood oath and dynastic skills. Bunch of neat characters in this as well. Whew! Anyone else lurking or dead around here I should know about? Seems like no. Okay. Well, let's head out. We might... That might literally be it. That might be the end. Uh, because, like, this is DLC meant to be played within the playthrough. It's not an end of the game, right? From here, theoretically, you would simply head back over to the Lands Between and resume your adventure. Unless there is something else to see. And I'm going to... I mean, we've come this far. Might as well run around and... see if there's anything else to be done. before calling this complete. I'm sure not seeing anyone else roaming around out here. Hmm. Grandom might literally be... if Grandom's still alive, might literally be the only NPC I am aware of in this entire realm still alive. Guess St. Trina's there, technically. That's probably worth stopping by, huh? Yeah, let's let's say hi to those two, I suppose. Hey, hey, still around? You are. You were napping last time, are you still? I'll leave you to it. Then, in that case... I don't expect anything here, but it would be interesting, right? Aha! St. Trina's Blossom. St. Trina's life withered and fell, as fleeting as the seasons. At her last, she left a single water lily. Slightly boosts max FP. Despite the velvety purple hue, the flower is in no way poisonous. It merely blooms in quietude. It's quite nice. I bet this is... either very nice or silly looking. Let's find out. It is headwear, right? Well, it is quite nice looking. <laughs> quite fun. Let's head back, I guess, to the lands between, because we also need to read remembrance descriptions and whatnot. Large game. So... Ooh, three off of this one. Very interesting. So we got the Great Sword of Radon, Lord. A strength intelligence one, it seems like. 
Great swords of black steel wielded by Radon in his youth. A pair of weapons decorated with a lion mane motif. These were in his possession immediately before his triumph over the stars. The swords of a lord who does not rely on physical strength and gravity alone. Promised consort, imbue the two great swords with the light of Mikola, then deliver a slashing attack accompanied by columns of light. Additional input allows for up to two follow-up attacks. Alternatively, there is Great Sword of Radon Light, which is... It's the same weapon with a different special skill. Interesting. Same description and everything, but yeah, Light Speed Slash. Assume a luminous form and leap forward to deliver a downward slash at the speed of light. This attack will be followed up by an additional light attack, charged to increase power of the skill and number of follow-up attacks. Cool and tough choice. Alternatively, Light of Mikola. The strength of Mikola upon his deific return, wielded as an incantation, annihilates foes with a pillar of light. Mikola sought to accept all that was and would be, but found one that refused to be embraced. No wonder, as one god and one king consort is all the world needs. Huh. Interesting. And a very difficult choice. So many tough choices. Anything new here? Yes, okay. Young Lion's Helm. The golden helm worn by Radon in his younger years. Proudly displaying his heroic red hair, it is fitting attire for a lion. When Millennia, Blade of Mikola, let the rot flower blossom in Aeonia, Radon heard a murmur in his ear. Mikola awaits thee, O promised consort. Ooh, that's an... Okay. That is... That I do like, actually. That creates dot connections that didn't exist before. Because it also explains, retroactively, why on earth did Melania go all the way down to literally the opposite end of the world to fight Radon when... Like, what, what stake did Melania have in the Shattering? Like, what, what would Melania want to gather the great runes for? Melania is just there to serve Mikola. Melania cares about Mikola. So, like, sure, he could go all the way down there to try to collect the rune for Mikola, but leaving Mikola undefended to do it? That, that like, actually explains it, that it was Mikola's wish that she do so. Yeah. I like that. That's, that is a neat little twist. The golden armor worn by Radon in his younger years, etc. Yeah, same. Okay. Anything different on any of these? Nah. That is a neat little narrative twist, though. I wonder, I really do wonder, and I guess I can look it up now, how much, if anything, changes in the base game based on having done this. Or if it, like, adds a different ending or something. Ah. See, these work here, just not in the DLC zone. Alas. Tragic. I'm, you know, I'm... <laughs> I would hate to wrap up the series and there actually be more things to do and I just didn't realize it. So let me, let me quickly look up and make sure there's not anything else that I need to be doing before we call this done. Okay, nope, nope. I think we have actually done it. We have completed the DLC. And if we had not already gone and beaten the game, now would be the time to go and do so. And with all these additional toys, I bet, I bet it makes some of the end game challenges in <laughs> base game a lot more manageable, which is quite cool. Yeah, goodness, if you can, if you can beat this boss, and maybe it'd be a lot easier. Like now that I think about it, I'm only at what. Shadow Tree level blessing am I? I think I'm only at 18. I know it goes higher than that. To 20, probably? So yeah, this probably could have been a little easier. <laughs> a little bit. Oh well. We managed. Oh, I wonder how much I missed. I'm excited to finally do my lore dive. I've been... so eager. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I've... 
enjoyed this immensely. It's been a grand time getting to have more Elden Ring. I can't wait to learn what From is on to next. I, I imagine it will be something smaller. Like, <laughs> it can only keep escalating in size uh, so long. But yeah, like, I, I love their games, and I'm so excited to see whatever they're doing next. And it's very likely whatever they are doing next will be here on the channel eventually for another side quest. But thank you all very much for watching. We've we've been doing a lot of very long games on this channel. Like, I feel like over the last three years, just about, we've been doing almost exclusively, not really, but it feels like almost exclusively very large, long, 80 plus hour games. Elden Ring, DLC to Elden Ring, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Final Fantasy XVI, God of War Ragnarok, a lot of very, very long games. I feel like we should do some at least mid-size games for a bit, right? Short to mid-size. <laughs> that might be nice, just to mix it up. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed, as much as I have enjoyed playing. Because boy, I certainly have. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you for the next adventure, and someday, I'm sure, another side quest. Maybe even sooner rather than later. Who knows? We'll find out together. See you next time for something else. Take care, everyone. And goodbye!